So, today we are building a potato cannon. All right. So we went to Home Depot and got some supplies. And, uh, yeah. All right, the supplies you need is the PVC pipe barrel, the chamber. This is a connector piece just for the handle, so that looks cool. And some of these pieces aren't mandatory, but you need a way to connect your chamber to the barrel. That's the most important thing. And then I got this valve that um, opens and closes so that I can uh, put the hairspray in, which I'll talk more about that later. Got a spark plug, and then a PVC pipe, primer, and cement. And I'm gonna try this. It's just air freshener to use instead of hairspray, but we'll see if it works. And then tape to cover any holes at the end. All right, let's get started. All right, now we're gonna start using the primer. leave this piece for later because we gotta do some of the electrical inside stuff first and then we can put that on and this piece is gonna be at the end <sighs> alright so that's the actual frame of the potato cannon alright so we bought this spark plug it uh... It was at Home Depot or Lowe's for fourteen dollars and it's a constant you can get a lot cheaper ones well, this is a constant shock, just in case, you know, the first press, it doesn't, uh, work. This one's constant. So, just a constant spark. So, you don't have to keep pressing it if it doesn't work the first time. Alright, so now we're, uh, gonna attach this to our potato cannon. Somewhere in the back of the chamber. Somewhere back here. Then we'll um, pretty much be ready to shoot it off. All right, now I'm gonna drill uh, two holes for the wires to go into. Try to get the trigger go down here. You get the handle. Actually, what do you think about up there? If you holding it, I think it's going out. As you see here, I made a you know a ghetto middle connector piece to keep the prongs the right length away because now it makes a perfect perfectly a perfect size spark for what I want. So I'm gonna pull this back. And 
attach this to wherever you want it. All right, now that we got our electrical situated in there, we're gonna put this on. And it's basically just a valve um, so that we can spray the hairspray in there, close it, then uh, ignite the hairspray so that the potato pops out. Alright, so the chamber was a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut a little bit more off of it. So that I get a better combustion during the shot. Alright, so that should be better. And now you can see how close the spark plug is. So I'll be making all of the explosion go straight forward, opposed to some of it going backwards. Just clean some of this. Alright, let's try it. Alright, now I've screwed a little nail in right here. If you can see it, so that the Well, you can't say it, but so that if any stuff is in there, it won't go all the way through. Also, I hot glued where I put the strings in and the wires in so that uh, no air comes out right there. All right, so for this one, I'm going to try the tennis ball. And that's, that's not exactly why this piece is on there because um, without it, the tennis ball wouldn't fit. Good. All right, now that was a lot better, but I think I can still make it a little bit better. Barely, our chamber needs to be short still, so make a short chamber and we'll be good.